Hey guys, this is Gaurav from Tone Empire and I am thrilled to show you Loch Ness. So Loch Ness is one of our newest plugins out from our Tone Empire brand. Uh, this is a dedicated drums processor and it's also called a Smashbox. So we'll see why it's called so and what the controls do, uh, how quickly you can dial in some awesome awesome sounds for your snares, kicks, hats, room sound or even the entire drum bar. So let's get straight to crushing some drums. So let's see Loch Ness in action. I'll explain the controls along the way so I don't give you a boring talk just before the plugin. Okay, so this is basically an electronic uh, drum machine called the Tom. And we're gonna start working on all the tracks starting from the kick drum. So I've used the crust control, which is basically the amount of saturation, chosen setting number three for the type of saturation. Uh, it goes from subtle to harsh kind of saturation. All are very musical, though you can try them. And then smash is basically for sustaining the sound. It's a limiter. And I've zoned in to a frequency bandwidth between 20K and about 248 hertz, or for 249 hertz. So this is where we are processing the signal. And I'm mixing it back with the dry or the original kick drum, giving it a blend of both the processed and mix. So you can very clearly hear the amount of bottom end uh, that has increased. So I suggest, of course, you listen on very good headphones or studio monitors for hearing all the difference precisely. So here we've enhanced just the bottom end of the track. Let's listen with the entire track. Cool, so that's a great enhancement. Um, let's move on to the snare. So I'm going to use another instance of Lockness on snare. Uh, let's see how we use this now. You can see the snare has become really much longer than it was before sitting in to the mix with a very clear tone because of the saturation which is bringing out all the juice all the harmonics in the snare and smash is sustaining the sound let's move on to the hats uh, the idea that i'm gonna pursue behind the hats is to enhance the top end or the high end so i'm only going to filter from about you know 10k to 20k and just affect that part of the signal and let's see uh, what happens
you can clearly hear very awesome high-end uh, enhancement for the hats. Let's move on straight to percussion and see how this works. I'm going to go a little crazy with, <laughs> with percussion and maybe try the uh, you know strongest saturation mode. This is pretty cool. It's just flattening out the sound and making it sit beautifully in the mix, not getting in the way of the hats or the kick drum and uh, just being there as percussion in the back yet very present. So you've just heard some cool enhancement. Now let's try to use Loch Ness on the entire bus. Maybe just use a slight amount of saturation and see how just that can do the trick for the entire drum mix. That's a huge difference. So even the bus can be enhanced generously with this plugin. Um, this was designed for drums, as you can hear. This can also be used in other sounds. Uh, the next video will be about using this on an acoustic drum kit and see how we can enhance that. So I'll see you guys next time. Um, if you already haven't, please subscribe to our channel because we will come out with more interesting material, videos, tutorials, and ideas, uh, hopefully to inspire you. And please leave some comments below. Let us know what you thought of this video. Did you hear the change? Could you hear what it does? Um, did you like it? So we'd love to hear from you, uh, your opinion and your ideas about this plugin. Do download a trial version from our Tone Empire website. Um, it's free to try and see if it works right in your tracks. This is Gaurav Singh Chao. I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.